Hello students, I want you to pay attention to uh, the heat transfer process and you know heat transfer occurs in nature when there is a finite temperature difference. The idealized heat transfer process which is a reversible process will take place across infinitesimal temperature difference, okay, across infinitesimal temperature difference. That means the temperature difference between the bodies is nearly zero. That will be a reversible uh, heat transfer, but this in nature what we observe is always irreversible heat transfer. I want you to pay attention to this closely and I want you to pay attention to the entropy changes associated with it. Now consider these two bodies. One body is at 1000 Kelvin, the other is at 200 Kelvin and assume that uh, these bodies now uh, they are separated but at a, at a particular point uh, the heat transfer is permitted. Obviously heat will flow from high temperature body to low temperature body. Uh, we will also make an assumption that this body uh, is a source that means it is a body of infinite heat capacity. Okay, Infinite heat capacity meaning no matter how much heat you take from this body the temperature of this body will not change or will not drop. Similarly, this can be considered as sink and no matter how much heat you give to this body, its temperature will not rise. Essentially what I am saying is, the temperatures of these two bodies are constant, they are fixed. Okay? Let's say that now there is 400 or let's say 500 kilojoules per second of heat transfer. There is 500 kilojoules per second of heat transfer taking place from this body to this body. Okay? Now let's look at what will happen to the entropy of this body. When heat is given out by this body, entropy will decrease. Heat is taken by this body, entropy will increase. By how much? Since temperature is constant, we know that entropy change of this body, let's say body A, this is body B, so I can say delta S A will be heat transfer upon temperature. Temperature is not changing, right? So temperature is constant. So you can, you know that as essentially it is uh, as the expression for ds is dq by t and expression for delta S is integration of dq by t. Okay? Integration of dq by t. If, if t is constant, t is not changing. So you take T out and integration of dQ is Q, right? So all that, it, it means that uh, when the temperatures are constant, then this body, entropy change of this body will be Q by T. And you can see Q is flowing out, so you can give negative sign to it. Okay. So if this is clear, then I mean this we have already done. So delta S T, you can say, is Q by T. And this is 500 by 1000, right? 500 by 1000. Now see here, um, since 500 kilojoules per hour is the heat that is leaving this body A, we can consider it with negative sign. So this will be minus 1000. So this is, so it is essentially uh, 0.5, right? So this is 0.5 kilojoules per Kelvin hour, right? This is the delta reversible because of course there is a minus sign. What about entropy change of this body? By the same logic, delta S B will be same amount of heat is coming over here. So this is Q by T, so it is 500 divided by 200. Okay? So this will be 2.5 and that will be plus kilojoules per Kelvin hour. Why will, will it be plus? Because this body is receiving the heat. So this 500 is plus, right? This was negative. Now see, I said what, what has happened is if you see, now check net change in entropy. Entropy change of this body is minus 0.5. Entropy change of this body is plus 2.5. Okay? So if you add them algebraically, so plus 2.5 
minus 0.5, it is plus 2. Okay. So what has happened? Because of this irreversible heat transfer, there is entropy generation. If you consider this as an isolated system, both these bodies together, then in this system, there is because of this heat transfer, which is irreversible, there is plus 2, that means 2 units of entropy generation. Okay? That's the principle of uh, increase of entropy or entropy principle, which I have explained to you in a video. This is what you need to always remember. Whenever there is irreversible heat transfer, irreversible heat transfer, then uh, the entropy of uh, entropy of the body which is giving the heat will decrease, entropy of the body which is receiving the heat will increase, but the increase will be more than the decrease. So it is, if you see here without sign, it is 2.5, it is 0.5, decrease is 0.5, increase is 2.5. So uh, increase is more than decrease. So it's always like that. Okay? So if instead of this, if we consider uh, uh, the body which has got a uh, finite heat capacity, that means when the body will change its temperature as the heat is flowing out of it. We will consider that case in next video.